What's up guys, today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a 24-7 Eagle Craft server for free. It's way quicker than the other tutorial and it's way easier. Let's get straight into today's video. So, first of all, you have to go to this link. WebV0.Vsav.app will be in the description and the comments. So you go to it and it'll look like this when you go to it. It'll say popcorn and all of this. You don't really need to care about it. Just click on launch network. We'll then come up here. If you've got a license key, you can put it in there, but we're going to use a guest account. You're going to click on Eagle Craft. Make sure if that's unticked, you tick it and click on play Eagle Craft. If your school blocks this instance, use Eagle Craft Backup, which is the same thing, basically, just a bit older. So as you can see, it's loading it up. As you see, it's, well, it's not that old. It's like 12 days old. I'm going to try and update it later on. So it should be new, okay? So here is Eagle Craft. Uh, once you are in, all you have to do is click on Single Player. I'm going to just open up another tab so I can show you it actually working. So you're going to click on Create New World. So let's name this server. So this will be your server. You can name it to whatever you want your server to be called. And you can set whatever you want your server to be there. You're gonna go into your world options and then you can specify whatever you want. Make sure allow cheats are off if you wanna play a survival world, okay? So click done, click on create new world. It'll set up a server for you. If I catch me up, then I put my so here's the server and I mean it's running nice on my PC uh, but on your school PCs it should run a bit a bit worse but it depends if your school's got good PCs or not I mean you can see there's literally zero lag okay there we go there is some lag there it's because of the server it's not my PC uh, but the servers do have a tiny bit of lag especially if you just created it as you can see it's much faster now yeah it's very fast now uh but yeah how do you create your server boy you're gonna press escape and you're gonna be here click on invite click continue then you set how you want other players keep it the same like this if you want it to be the same as your current world or you can change that to creative adventure spectator survival you put all of those you can allow your cheats on or off if you want it to be a survival server make sure they're off and if you don't want players seeing your world make sure you've got hidden off and once you're done just click on start shared world now you're gonna see all of this information. What what is this about? They need to make sure that they got all of this correct and they got this code. So here is my second instance that I got open, and it's gonna allow me to demonstrate it to you. So let's see this. So let's change my name here. Let's rename it to like. Let's name ourselves Zephyr Zero One, or just Zephyr. Let's change our skin, hair, brine, multiplayer. Now I can see it there, but if I go into here, press escape, and then you're gonna see all of this information. You have to stop sharing it, invite it, turn it on, and then start sharing it again. Then you'll see it there. You, if you just reload it, it shouldn't be there anymore. You won't be able to join. But if you press T, you're gonna be able to see all your code here. On this second instance to join, I click multiplayer. Make sure in network settings here, you've got it onto four connection timeout, onto four seconds, four S. And you've got all these three options here. Whichever one has a better bar will be the better option. But you can obviously see it says WSS one. So you're gonna make sure you're on WSS relay dot next one do dot net. So if you just click on refresh, there we go, and then click done. If you click on direct connection, then join shared world, and you see that code zero shb nine. Oh, if I catch me up, then I put my. As you can see, I've joined into the world, and it's just done something there, and I can see myself there. Can I hit him? Yeah, you can see that lag. 
I click him now. Too much lag there. The lag isn't that bad. I don't know if it's much laggier on the video, but right here, I'm not experiencing any lag at all. Wait, this is actually insane. I thought there would be a bit of lag, but it seems that like there's none at all. So, yeah, that's how you do it. It's very, it's very easy. But how do you save your world? Because, for example, if I, if I leave that game there, so this is my main instance here. This is hosting the server. If I press save and quit title, how can I save the world? You click it and click on backup. You're going to click on export EPK file. And you'll see it's exported the EPK. All you have to do is go in your files, then you'll see it there. It's very easy. And if you've got it, you're going to just click create new world, load EPK. And yeah, when you click on load EPK file, it will open up your file manager and you just select the world. It's very easy. And that's literally how you can host a server 24-7 or just whenever you are online. It's your choice. See you guys in the next video. Bye.